business. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. <laughs> Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Back on the horse. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Out there. Slow down! Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but... You know how this works. Look out, Arthur. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How oh, he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house? Probably just sweet on her. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. You've got
got binoculars, don't you? <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Your father home, son. Sure is. Get him down here, please. Get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, uh, your, uh, Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. Dip. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. My name, my name is... Now, don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now, that's not important or relevant. I have been saved! I have been found! Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut. You think I'm a nut, Father Crawford the Third. I ain't interested in no religious talk. I'm not a religious man. Amen. has it, but I got something better. Way better than church. In fact, it's useful. Brings you spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment to the Lord God Almighty. Whoever built it, but our brains in here, but our soul is in our back. You sir, your your back would sound a tricky company. Sure. I can fix that for you. Just ten or fifteen sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey is whiskey is just part of the problem. You ever meet a Scot who didn't hobble in old age? But the English and old. better just a bit yeah yeah it's a, it's a little bit better ah, ah. this session has been free but perhaps i might call it again how much will it cost me i'm offering you virility and you're asking me about money sir i ain't made of money mr my rates are reasonable have a think about it i'll be around this way next
done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Hey, slow it down. Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble.
Sean. Shoot it! Am I glad you showed up when you did? I don't have no money to give you, but I do have some information that might interest a man like yourself. There's this odd lady who collects things. Has a place uh, north of Strawberry. All kinds of goodies, I hear. <laughs> Might be something there for you. <laughs> Interesting. Well, thanks again. <laughs> Safe travels. Yeah, you too. Lay low. Yeah. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. Now let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future, in all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. 
Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. Are you crazy? We're gonna lose a wheel. Find a good spot, Wolfman. Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block of the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, it picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. They're left here. Towards roads. Now, as I was saying, that could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scare face. A right barrel of laughs. So, we got the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, no... Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows... Order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. Finish up here. Join us on board. All right, get on that train. You bastard. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody, stay calm. Everybody will get shot. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. This is unnecessary. Please. There you go. Let's make this quick. Get robbed, Mr. 
Give me everything you got. I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little Honey? chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Stop. Make me hurt you. What's the problem here? It ain't worth dying over. Tell him, Mr. M. Tell him that front of you. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. Oh. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing Please. games. I want to count to three. God damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You boys need me. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. You show this son of a bitch we ain't going to be wasting our time, huh? Quick, come on. I'll do anything. Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't be an idiot. Put it now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Pay me what you got, Stop. mister. You won't get hurt. Empty your pockets, mister. You can be on your way. Don't do it. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay! None of you folks move a muscle! You hear me? Oh, you. What is it? You alright? Build a baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. All right, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberty. Eh? There's a few more of them torn to nothing. Big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance.
<laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Greetings. Well, quite the price tag on little old you.
Okay, safe travels. Be with you momentarily. Ready for a clean slate? Hello, how can I help? Thanks. Morning. Morning to you. Your mama, for all I care. Uh, take it easy. I got oh, some bingo. Smarten him up, will ya? Uh, oh, hell. Wasting my time anyway. Uh, 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 you could have stepped in. Oh, joy. I feel all sleepy. And what do you want? Can I get some oatmeal, please? Finish that quick. Thanks for your assistance. Okay, boy. Let's go. Morning, mister. The hell you doing? Damn fine day. I hope it stays this way. Mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. The Terror of Valentine. <laughs> that one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't. See you. What can I do for you? 
Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. I ain't sure it was his to start with, mind you. Let's well, have a look. All right. This will be here when you need it. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Shit, you gotta treat that thing as good as your horse, all right? Unless you maintain that peace, more often you'll have to see me. It's up to you. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. There just ain't no way to fine tuning your gun, you know? Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Thank you. Really? What do you want? This is private. Get lost. Welcome back. Christ! This must be tough for you. Oh, welcome back. You hear someone robbed a stagecoach from old Bob Crawford at Carmody Dale? Well, I'd feel sorry if he hadn't robbed it first. Did you hear about the dead man they found on the train? Everyone thought he was sleeping, but he'd been dead for days. It seems he'd been around them tracks more times than the train itself. I sure hope you're lying.
of it. All right. What can I do for you? Thank you. Can't say I spent much time in Saint Denis, but I got family there. Oh yeah. To say the whole Lamb's place is run by some pretty dubious elements. Spanish? No, 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 Italian. No, Spanish. Uh, anyway, bad lot. Hope you like it. No sense, Russian. Not over whiskey. Always worth having one for the road. Barely get a word out of Tommy since that fight. I know. Well, now... Can I get a whiskey? You come far today? Sure looks like it. Heard some road agents working the roads out of town again. I'll have uh, no denying it. Valentine's like. take well, I'll be good health. Same again. Of course. Down the hatch. Just give me a drink, quick. Glass of the good stuff. Give me something to drink, anything. Take this one slow, huh? Just give me a drink, quick. This will fix you up. Whiskey, please. Whiskey? Morning, mister. So, how you holding up? Mm-hmm. Just fine. You look funny. That's a you damn funny, shame. Welcome back. I need a bath. That's hey, okay. Barton. Can you organize? I'd like a room, please. Ladies, huh? Room's all yours. Head on up.
Yep. Sheriff keeps a tight rein on this place, but at least he can let the moonshine in. All right. Can I help you with anything? Hey! You get the hell out of here! I swear it, you should leave right now! You don't like visitors. I will bury you! <laughs> <laughs> Who's talking now, huh? 